Derb. You can't read? <gasps> you couldn't get me a cup of coffee or a complimentary newspaper? How about this for a compliment? If I had any idea that you were packing that under those t-shirts, I would have blackmailed you to marry me. But hell, I'm open to other arrangements. I'm non-traditional like that. You don't say. Yeah. Because there's always room in Johnny's bed for one more. There are a stoop in Brooklyn you should be occupying. Last I checked, they don't have views like this in Brooklyn. Okay. Never been to Brooklyn. I'm closing the door in three, two, one. Okay. Whoa! What are you doing? Oh, I'm just getting comfortable, Todd. Why don't you give it a shot? I have never been comfortable in my life. Not once. You need to get out of my room. Hey, lose the tood. Huh? I've never done anything to you or your precious little granddaughter. Yeah, but looking at you, I'm guessing that you might have issues. Well, then why guess when we can just get to know each other? <laughs> because all of the altars I've ever been around, they have an expiration date. Mm -hmm. I think yours is coming. Ah, what are you doing? No, no, no. I'm not going nowhere. So you better start playing nice because we're going to be in really close quarters. Yeah, unless those quarters have bars and you're on the other side of them, I'm not interested. Well, that's pretty high and mighty from a rapist, don't you think? What are you... Okay, relax. Yeah. I'm not here for that. I'm here for a job. Hello? Oh, we speaking the same language here? I don't here? think so. No, I, I think not. Okay, let me break it down for you. Gainful employment, corner office, throwing a car in a drive-in I'm set. not giving you a job. Well, that's too bad, Todd, because, you know, the offer's already on the table. Shady you bro. promised me that you would put Crimson back on the newsstands and you'd reinstate me as the editor and whatever it is. I'm the editor in Bananas. I made that offer to Kate. I am Kate! Yes, when it's convenient for you. Like now? Huh? Look, I was there when you made the pitch to Kate. You guys were distracted, but I'm all about the focus, Todd. Crimson is a fashion magazine. You know that, right? Look at me. I am. Yeah. I got more fashion sense in my pinky toe than Kate does in her walk-in closet. I hand over the reins to a fashion magazine to Miss Leopard Print 2012, people are going to start to ask questions. Yeah? What kind of questions? Hmm? Well, like what kind of drugs I'm up to begin with. And Star would never forgive me if I give a job to the psycho that killed her daughter. I didn't do that, though. And Carly. Ugh. Our friendship barely survived me knowing that you even cheated with Johnny. If I give you a job, I'll lose her for good. Loser? You never had her, Ta. Oh, but you wish you had. You're hot for Carly. Uh -huh. That's a great theory. Why don't you go down to the malt shop now and share it with the rest of the pink ladies? I can't believe I didn't see it. I've been so mixed up in my own stuff. But it all makes sense. Yeah. What is it that makes sense? You're overprotective of Carly because you want to get with her. <laughs> you can think whatever you want, but you're really going to have to leave now. I'm not leaving without a job, Todd. Why do you want a job, anyway? You married to Johnny. Why, why don't you just roll around in all of his dirty money now? Because Johnny has a tight fist on his money, especially after shelling out all those millions for that cure thing. Well, I shelled out millions for that cure thing, too. The last thing I can afford to do is give you money to lose. Don't you think I can turn a profit? In that outfit, I think you can turn something, but it's not a profit. Hey. What? What? What are you doing? Todd, Todd, Todd. Why are you fighting me? Huh? You just, you just holding up for Carly? You have no respect for personal boundaries. What are those? What the hell is this? Marty, what is this? This is a nightmare. Ow. Glad you're here. I'm to wake everybody up. Do you ever get enough? Says the biggest tramp in town. Okay. I can't handle this today. No, no, don't, don't. Please, 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 please. Please just stay, okay? Connie was just leaving. No, I wasn't. Connie. Yes, you were. Look, I, I tried calling you. I figured that you were just, you were with your family. You know about Jason. What about Jason? Yes, I, I do. It wasn't in the paper. No, I told my people to back off. I, I wasn't sure that you knew. I didn't want you to have to find out like that. What? Uh, find out what? What about Jason? He's missing. And uh, everyone thinks he's dead. Get out. Stone cold is stone cold. How's that for poetic justice, huh? Nice ass. Your mom's busy, but you don't look busy. You want to get busy with me? Mm -mm. Mm, where'd you get an ass like that? Lunges, squats? I think you might really do well as a personal trainer. I'd be down for a private session. No, thanks. Hey, hey, why don't you jump off the high horse, pal? You used to bang a hooker. 
Don't talk to me about Abby. All right. Relax. Just having a little fun. Not having enough fun with Johnny? No. Because I'm thinking of you, Mikey. Because you ain't going to get no action from that little Pris star. So why don't you let Connie give you a little bit of relief? 